Hi, uh, again, um, this is Buffy, uh, part three of five part segment of eating disorder. I am basically I wanted to go over today about balancing your soul and on top of what we're discussing is the uh, incomplete and complete feeling that you feel in your side, your body. And as you can see in, in my demonstration, if you cannot see any of this, that's okay. Don't feel discouraged. It will be uh, posted on Facebook. I mean, not Facebook, um, PowerPoint presentation and on video uh, PowerPoint presentation so you can see the full view of what my uh, uh, five-part segment is about. Also, if you like uh, my videos and um, you feel like you uh, like them, you know, a uh, uh, like and and your uh, subscription, if you want to pl uh, go ahead, hit it. I'll be honored to have that. Basically, moving on. What I'm discussing is that the two difference in your soul that we, uh, which is our body, and you know, the incomplete. It's basically a feeling uh, of failure or, you know, pressure. And we kind of get hard on ourselves if we do not do things uh, the right way as far as eating right, you know, exercising right, taking therapy that you're, or, you know, doing anything that you're trying to do to make yourself feel better, you know, make yourself more healthier. And then it just, you feel discouraged. Um... I, I stress a lot about that word discourage. It's because we just feel down on ourselves all the time. And then uh, most of the time we kind of feel empty. Uh, and that's why you can see all this broken up, you know, bunch of holes. It's like a net. Well, kind of look at your soul that way um, because it's just not there. And you don't feel like the, all the puzzles in your body is just getting, you know, um, kind of connecting right and that's why it's kind of all open a little bit rather than this side which is I'm going to talk about in a minute um but the incomplete is that you you just you want to um kind of get yourself out of the hole that you're feeling and it also represents like depression anxiety you know panic attack and anything that causes your eating disorder um or lifestyle change um to go negative uh in your life you know, that way, you know, if you feel that you're getting off that wet, uh, you know, track and you feel like you need to get back into it, you know, you know, just do it, you know, get right back into it. And then that way, you know, that if you show yourself that you could do this, your friends and family and whoever you're trying to impress that will look up to you and think, hey, they're doing it too. They're going positive. They're doing great. And they're doing extra, you know, good for themselves, they're eating right, they're doing this, and you feel a little jealous, or that person's going to look jealous over you because you're doing the right thing. So, basically, if you kind of think that, oh, I don't want to be like this anymore, I don't want this cracked up, open, like, hole in your, in your body, that's, in the middle is basically, it's you and that's blood, that's your body. And then on this side, which I'm going to discuss, is about complete, you know, feeling proud and secured. Well, once you feel all that uh, positive, that yes, I did it. I, I did everything I can. I got confident. I feel secured. I, I feel that this is, you know, my body is perfect 10. I don't have to worry about, you know, you know, trying to impress anybody because I know I impress myself. And if you can impress yourself that you're better at uh, uh, looking on the inside and out, you know, your soul is much more, you know, uh, caring, compassionate, you know, giving yourself um, your time to family and friends that you or whoever comes to your life, that the once they see that positive energy from you, they're going to want it from you and then they were, they're going to need it themselves. So I decided to um, kind of discuss that this does go hand in hand in eating disorder because we kind of look at our food that way. We kind of look at incomplete, that you're eating a plate full of food and you're not getting much and it's like a few, you know, a few peas that you're eating and that's all you're eating. And that, that you just feel the emptiness. And then if you eat a full food, uh, like a steak or, you know, whatever, steak and egg, whatever you feel like you want to eat the big plate of and you eat it all and then your stomach gets, oh my God, what the heck did you do to me? It gets, it goes into shock. And 
So that, and then you get over that gas and indigestion, that's okay. Don't feel bad. It is it, telling you that your body is feeling full. Then don't feel guilty of how much you ate because you're going to burn off anyways. <laughs> so even in sleep, you burn off calories. And never look at that word calories in your, um, in your diet, uh, or I should say lifestyle change. It's because it kind of gives you that negative. You know, I look at calories as a negative, you know, um, you know, um, trigger. So I don't look at that negative, you know, to get yourself down and feeling down. And then basically, you know, food is what we are and what we feel. And once we feel great that I'm going to go out and have an ice cream that I did great. I, you know, I did everything I can. I made someone else's day. Whatever you did that day will uh, impact yourself. That, hey, I'm doing great. I get to go, you know, reward myself or treat myself to something really good I haven't had in a while. It's okay. You know, you know, you're not breaking your rules or uh, expecting that you cannot go back to negative from the lifestyle change, but go forward. And then once you feel that full feeling, that complete feeling, that that your your mind and your body, your uh, your soul, all feels all is connected together, and that's why it's all colored in. It's because you're feeling. You know, all that closeness. The more you do to yourself, and then the more your friends, family will see the change in yourself, and then they're gonna go, "Oh, well, if they can do it, then I can do it." Um, and then they know that if you can get through all the obstacles that you're going through, like if you're in a you know military camp or whatever, those ten you know different obstacle course that you're going through, and you get through about a few of them. And then you can't do it, and then you get through a few more, and you can't do it, and then you get through a few more after that. Then once you get through them in one day, that's and you feel complete. You did every single of those ten obstacles that you empower your body in a positive way. So if you get through those obstacle course, you know don't feel discouraged that oh I can't yeah you know, make it for the first three. Well, if you get through the first three, you're do, you're making the right first step in your life. Like if you're eating so much, you know, or if you're not eating so much, um, you know, you change the way you're eating. You know, you're kind of looking at it. eating your food is like going through obstacle course, especially with people who are, you know, borderline anorexic or bulimia. They kind of get that discouraged feeling. So if you go through the obstacle course, you look at yourself and the obstacle course of how um, you're completing your, you know, the goals that you're reaching. You know, sit down every day, write down goals. You know, I thought it was a great idea when I heard that, you know, a little bit of message that I got from, you know, one of the videos I saw on YouTube. I thought, hey, you know, I didn't think about that. If I can get up every morning, write down my goals, then that way you're going to follow everything you can to make yourself feel good and whole. And complete you know and then basically you want to embrace your body as an image because you should uh, you shouldn't wait for someone to worship your body or worship the uh, who you are worship yourself you know if you feel like you need to <laughs> go out and get a tiara to feel great about yourself then you do go ahead <laughs> you know and if you don't that's fine uh, I'm not saying for you know it's just a little thing, uh, thing that, you know, um, if you could just do something for, uh, great for yourself, like dress up as like a king and queen, you know, always look perfect. Well, you can look at your body in the same way. You make yourself feel like a queen or you make uh, the guy version make themselves feel like a king because they're doing something for themselves. And then once you change your, your aspect of, uh, from incomplete side, going all the way over here to the complete side and for the rest of your life and feel this because, you know, it kind of looks like, if you look at it this way, you don't want to go back there. It, you know, it's all broken up. You don't feel, you don't want to get that feeling empty again. You don't want to feel like, oh, uh, you know, I don't want that. So you want to feel all this. You want to feel that you are um, enjoying your life to the fullest. Um, and then on top, uh, you know, if you enjoy yourself, the more you do for yourself, your image looks better. And 
people are going to start wanting what you have. And, you know, and, and that's a good idea to give them something to look forward to that you are the one that are telling them that they can overcome the eating disorder, which I'll get into the next segment of part, I believe, four, and that will discuss the, uh, the uh, more further stuff in part four of the five uh, uh, eating disorder uh, segment. So I just want to discuss uh, just these part three about, and then part four will continue, um, and I hope you all enjoy uh, my uh, encouraging thoughts to you to uh, to wake you up a little bit you know think that hey well I I can do this you know and that's what I'm here for is to help you I I'm grateful that we have this great YouTube network um, and everybody else is teaching everybody it, you know the same thing uh, as being positive you know um, it's like I think that we have YouTube <laughs> as our you know, main, you know, source of everything that, that relates to our life. So I decided to do the same to you guys too. So I, hey, I want to get myself out there too, just like everybody else and teach you, you know, why is it so important and near to my heart about the eating disorder um, and how it touched my heart, how I got through myself to teach you guys the same. I want to say thank you all for taking your time. Go ahead, hit like, uh, or you know, comments appreciated, and uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to me. Um, basically, uh, here on YouTube, uh, and hope uh, we looking forward to hearing from you guys. Um, and can't wait to get more videos done for you because this way you guys have more to look forward to. <laughs> Anyways. Thank you again. My name is Buffy. Bye-bye.